All right, I am getting ready to head out on my Utah mule deer hunt, my muzzleloader tag that I drew after seven years. It's taken forever. Um, so I finally drew it and we are headed out tomorrow morning with kids and this is going to be a really crazy hunt. This is actually like, <laughs> it's going to be more of a blind hunt than spot and stock, but maybe a little bit of spot and stock, but we're going to have Tinley and Tillman and it's going to be pretty chaotic. So, um, it's going to be fun though. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to go through really quickly. Um, I have a lot of people asking me like what I pack and what I take and, um, I'm going for like four days. So. Uh, just going to kind of show you what gets me through all of my hunts and my go-to for this kind of hunt. It, um, knowing that it's a blind and maybe some spot and stock, um, weather is lows in the forties, highs in the seventies with a chance of rain. So, um, I pack accordingly. So we are going to start out with my lightweight option. Uh, first day I'm going to probably start out in these pants unless it's too cold. These are the Pradlin pants. I like them because they have that extra material on top that is kind of a protection layer for any kind of pokey grass or anything. My next layer I'm gonna do is um, my merino wool. I always love a wool base layer because it's great when you sweat. Um, when it's hot or cold, it's great. It's a great layer. So that's gonna be my start out layer. Um, I also brought this as my first layer, lightweight. Um, this is the tin tree lightweight. And then I never forget this layer, no matter where I'm going. This is the merino wool. This is like the hoodie. It is phenomenal. It's the merino wool hoodie. I Hot, cold weather, you name it, it is perfect. Um, I'm also going to bring my vest, puffy layer, just in case it gets really cold. And I'm a wisp when it's really cold. And then I've got the midweight from Proas. The jacket with the fur inside this is if it gets real cold and the matching midweight pants for that so if the mornings are cold when we're sitting i will switch to these so i've got my set of midweights i've got my set of lightweights i've got my puffy for insulation i've got a set of rain gear coat and pants um and then always on the outside stone glacier ga gators are my favorite that i found they're great waterproof wise is what i wore in alaska um, great for any kind of bushes and stuff that you're going to be trampling through. Um, so Stone Glacier Gators. I've got midweight, lightweight, and heavyweight socks. Several pairs of those. And then we're going to get onto the gear. Um, this is stuff that I just bring because I enjoy filming what we are looking at. Um, so I have two phone scopes. I've got the i13 Pro Max and the i13 Pro. Um, so we take them both because I don't know when I'm going to use which one. Uh, buck knives, these two. Um, one has a gut hook, one does not. They are both great for obviously field dressing, gutting out, everything. Um, but those are the two knives. I always bring two because I always lose stuff. And if I go out into the field and I lose a knife and I don't have one, then I'm kind of SOL. So um, pyro putty, I always put these in my pack. This is the fire starter, this is the lighter. That way, if anything, um, you know, the most important things is food, water, shelter, and a uh, fire. So kind of need that. And that's really important. Sunglasses, Wiley X. I always bring my Wiley X sunglasses. They are the top ones you can get for eye protection. I don't know if you've seen the way that they test their sunglasses, but this is what the military uses. And there's a reason for that. They protect your eyes really well. So I'm bringing two pairs of sunglasses. Um, my binos are in my Rockman case. This is a waterproof case and I like having my binos in here just because it protects it and there they are. Sit nice and good in there. Um, and I'll also be bringing my Rockman 2500 pack and my Zamberlin boots. I'll get those right now. All right, Zamberlin boots. These are actually Lee's, but I have the same ones and these are what I'm bringing. They have great tread on the bottom and traction. Um, those are the wall satch boots. And those are what I'm bringing. And this baby bringing her too. Uh, other than that, Rockman pack and that's it. So that's pretty good for a blind hunt. A little bit of spot and stock with, um, I don't know, cool mornings and perfect evenings and a chance of rain. So, and...
Don't ever forget your hunting tag.